We're gonna start this puppy up. Clear, prop. And welcome back to Tip of the Week. This last weekend we spent some time on location at the Light Sport Expo at DeLand, Florida. That's just north of Orlando. And we ran into a builder who begs the question, is it okay to install a horn in your home-built aircraft? Well, not like that one nor that one. You're getting a little closer. Well, we found a builder who installed one in his Zenith 701 aircraft. And, well, let's just take a look, or a listen, rather. What sound should come from a plane when you honk the horn? Come again? Now we know what those extra buttons on the stick grip are for. Let's take a look and see if we can find that horn. It's under the cowl, and there it is. I will leave you to reflect on the positive benefits of having a horn in your aircraft. Now, let's take a look at a way to mount a camera to the exterior of your aircraft. This one is going to be used for one of those high-tech 360-degree cameras. This is pretty neat. Take a look. Hi, I'm John Humbert uh, from Cleveland, Tennessee. I've, I've built and fly the Super 701 Zenith uh, from the Zenith Aircraft Company in Mexico, Missouri. Someone asked me to talk about the Micro or the camera boom I have here on the 701. I'm using a 360 camera. It is actually the Insta 360 1X. Have it mounted to. It's actually mounted to a microphone boom that's extendable, so it'll come on out. Uh, roughly, it's eight feet long, but I like to get it out about even with a propeller. For those of you, you that may know Trent Palmer, uh, look him up on YouTube. He has the complete assembly. It gives you part numbers and all that type of stuff for the microphone boom and, and the little brackets and everything. Uh, mine's a little unique. It's a little different setup, but it's a very similar, very similar system. Basically just an extendable microphone boom with an Insta360 camera. Makes some really neat 360 video and, and pictures. Just a very unique perspective. Does it, this cause any issues during flight as far as wobbling or vibrating? Or I haven't noticed any issues at all during flight uh, once these things are tightened down and everything. Uh, you can see it on the ground when you're taxing a little bit you'll see just a little bit. You can even see it in the video playback some but just as soon as you're off the ground it, it stabilizes. It's actually really stable. I've had it to 110 miles per hour before and it's it's really steady. The best way to understand what this type of camera can do is to watch a short video John made with it. Now let's look at a couple of customizations that John made when building his Super 701 aircraft. A lot of folks in are interested in a lot of the details and one of the things I get a lot of questions on is the floor map. Uh, 
Abby with Flatline Interiors did that. I just took the dimensions and drew it out and sent her a picture and she she did an incredible job just making that and sending it back to me in the mail and I just threw it in there. So it's it's really easy. Just measure, get your cutouts right in your measurements and she'll, she'll do it for you and all that. She also made the boot, uh, the boot for my control stick, Flatline Interiors. The carbon fiber, it's actually an overlay. 3M makes a vinyl, it's called Dynock. They have several different variations and even different colors of it, but it's, it's just a 3M vinyl film. Very thin, it has aluminum underneath. It's just a film you just essentially cut and stick on. Very simple, it gives it a unique look and the, the 3M actually has a little bit of a texture to it, so you can, you can feel it. A lot of folks think it is real. And that's the same materials here, right? Yeah, yeah, same material on the instrument panel. And it has, like I say, it has a little bit of a carbon fiber texture, so it really gives it that real effect. I wanted my panel to be clean. I didn't want it to be full of breakers and switches, so I'm, I'm using the vertical power system, which is a, a breakerless, it's an electronic breaker system, essentially. And to keep it clean, everything is fed through the vertical power. And my little bit of switches that I do have for starting the airplane, checking the backup systems with fuel pumps and coils, that type of stuff. Everything to get it started is inside this one one small access door. Once I get it going and I'm in the air, everything else is controlled through my main EFIS. It, it controls the vertical power and I can turn on lights, I can turn on and off. Even fuel pumps if I were so minded, I could do it all right here from the screen. And then the, the one on the right there, that this it's a different door, but the, the actual cubby inside is the glove box directly from Zenith. I, I made my own custom door for it, but they usually have them turned horizontally. I've just turned it vertically to fit into my panel, and it's just a standard standard compartment. The seats, I, I actually tried to get several different local upholsters to do them and could not find anyone that was, wasn't extremely backed up. So I, I, I ordered the material, and my first experience with a sewing machine is right here. All for heaven's sake. <laughs> so a little bit of time, and I, it really came out. Do you have a new I career? I feel like it did, did pretty well for a first-timer on a sewing machine. I, I'm happy with them. I have one layer of memory foam, and then there's two inches of regular car seat foam underneath the memory foam for the bottoms. And the backs have memory foam with a one inch thick behind. And then, of course, I have a little thicker in the center and the outside to give you that it kind of hugs you feeling. Yeah, I have the GoPro mounted up and behind. It gives me the full cockpit view and I, with, a, with incredible visibility out of the zenith, you, you can really see outside well with it too. It gives you just an amazing view. And I catch it through my radio, so I get all the communications and radio on there also. Okay, so for the door, I made a couple of different modifications. The, I have a little snap clasp. A lot of this stuff you can order from McMaster Car. Uh, there's a plastic clasp, and it just gives it the capability to kind of snap in there, and it'll sort of hold it until you get it latched or, or whatever, but it, it gives it that snap that just feels what, like it's secure. Would you go ahead and try it? see if it... Uh... And you, you can, you heard it there, you can hear a very physical snap it, it, it gets it fairly secure you know it's not it's not holding the entire door shut so you can't fly with just that one but it it, it gets it to where you can let go and take your time to shut it or do whatever you need all right I changed from the standard Zenith vents to you can order the Vista vent from aircraft spruce and I'm sure there's some other pliers also um, it comes with everything except the backing plate, and I've seen folks do that with, you know, aluminum or metal. I, I opted to, to order a piece of flex in and cut it in the circle and fit up, but it actually, the bolts fit inside the Zenith standard cutout, so it's, it's just sandwiched in between. There's no extra holes there or anything like that. Uh, if you have any kind of cracking issues or anything like that, you can sandwich that together and not have any holes, and it. it'll just secure everything together without any extra pressure or anything like that on the glass. I added a little bit of extra storage underneath my passenger seat. The, the door from this is actually the standard door from the Zenith's glove box. Uh, I just, just moved it underneath the seat. 
the room underneath the seat in the 701 is enough room to com put a complete tie down system of the claw system, which is, uh, you may know, it's, it can be fairly bulky and, and large. It's and there you have it, a couple of unique installations that you can think about when building your aircraft. And for those of you who are thinking, hey, are these installations okay with the FAA? Well, that just happens to be one of the wonderful benefits of building an experimental class aircraft. Doing things that there is no way you would be allowed to do on a certified aircraft. And enough of this, everyone please, now back to building.